Hi guys, I'm Tormi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll show you how to make the beat for Aina by Travis Scott. This beat was made by Travis Scott, Mike Dean, Wondergirl, No Goldstein and John Sweet. So let's begin with the breakdown. First thing, we got three different samples. The first one is Proclamation from the Gentle Giant. I think they had access to the original stems or maybe they just used AI as I've done to extract the vocals from the original track. And then they played it as an intro using a fifth harmony. So as you can see, I had to duplicate the sample and pitch it down by seven semitones. Then we have the main sample, Career Cats Get Tiger Sweets by The Chronicle Grime. It's like drums and a bunch of ethnic guitars, maybe. This sample is probably playing a 1-7-6 progression in the F-sharp Lydian or major scale. And I think that they're using the power chords. You can hear the root notes at the bottom, but they're also playing them an octave higher. Anyway, they choose to use the relative minor scale, so these notes are becoming the third, the suspended two and the root note of the D-sharp minor chord. Then we have the drum loop. I also tried to recreate it using these samples. The first one is this kick, stretched and pitched. Another kick, hi-hats, simple four-step pattern, a snare on the third beat, and then this open hat on the second one. For the effects, I applied a lot of saturation, beat crushing and EQing. So for the open hat, I have a beat crush with the Desimort and the Feb filter. And then for the whole drum layer, I have a transient processor, black box, analog saturator, Desimort, compression and then an EQ. This is without effects and this is with effects. Then we have the tambourine loop in the background. 808, a really simple pattern playing around the root note. They are using these higher octaves to give more energy to the bass. And the pattern is quite simple. We have this double hit on the first and the second beat. And then for the second bar we have this hit on the last beat. Gunshots. And then some sirens. I use Serum to recreate them, it's just a saw wave with a little bit of unison and detune. Clanger for the movement, chorus for the body, delay, reverb and then the LFO controlling the chorus. So we have this downfall on the pitch. And I also have another LFO controlling the fine to create this vibrato effect. Same thing for the second siren, I just modified the chorus range. Then we have the drum switch, we have this snare. This kick. And that's all for the first part. Then for the last bridge we have this sub. Here they are looping the first part of the sample. And with the sub they are just replaying the root notes of the sample. To recreate this sub I just used the 3x oscillator, some saw waves, a lot of filtering, Saturn, and then I used this function here, the polyphony with the slide to make it glide. Then for the outro we have the last sample, Maggot Brain from the Funkadelic. They stretched and chopped it. For the effects, apply the Nervox compressor, the Penman to create this panning effect, Fab filter, and then we have the delay and the distortion at the end. So as you can see, I use this automation clip to activate them. I also have an automation clip controlling the delay tempo to create this gliding effect at the end.
Then we have another base coming in. I'm using this preset from Serum from this future rave bank. It's like a saw wave with a lot of detune, noise and distortion. I'm also using Saturn and Decapitator for more distortion. And I have this EQ closing up with this automation clip. Then we have this background lead coming in. It's like a square saw wave. With a lot of filter. And they're just playing around the fifth and the third of the D sharp minor chord. So this is how the transition at the hands sounds. We have the bass coming in with this automation on the filter. They are switching to the Lydian scale. And the progression on this bass is a 1, 2, 6, 1, 2, 5, 3. And with the background lead, they're playing the fifth of these chords. Except for the sixth chord that they're playing, like the suspended four and the third. I also have this vibrato effect on the bass, as you can hear. And I use the LFO tool to recreate it. It's just a volume vibrato. Then we have the main lead, it's just a saw wave with a little bit of detune, unison, chorus, delay and reverb. And then playing with the pitch band at the start. And as you can hear, they are creating a lot of tension using this relationship between the D-sharp and the F. This is a sus2 relationship. Then at the end we have another lead playing the A-sharp in the background. An octave lower. And then we have this white noise effects. It's just a white noise with a lot of resonance and the cutoff moving. So this is the final result. As you can see I have a lot of different automation clips, what they're doing is mainly playing with the filter of the sounds and the release to create this long release effect at the end. So that's all for this video, smash a like and subscribe if you liked it, I will leave all my links in the description if you want to support me, I have a Patreon page where I upload all the FLPs from my remakes, Instagram if you want to follow me, and BeatSource if you want to buy my drum kits or listen to my beats. Bye and see you in the next video.